Well, yesterday we had some interesting comments from Rob Manfred, not only in reference to the moving situation of the Oakland Athletics, where he kind of called out their fan base, but also the Arizona Diamondbacks. And if you've been following my channel, you would have known that, you know, Chase Field, it needs significant upgrades and Manfred and the MLB almost in a similar way like a month ago with the Milwaukee Brewers kind of threatening them with relocation, saying they need they need to upgrade their stadium. We've got this, I wouldn't call it a threat, but he does reference the Tempe, Arizona Coyotes bill not passing. And he says that, listen, this stadium needs repairs. It needs upgrades. Some of that money might have to be public and it needs to pass because the MLB really wants Chase Field to be upgraded. The lease for Chase Field expires after 2027 in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm going to show a few renderings of kind of a weird-looking stadium that supposedly would be in Scottsdale. Looks like a carbon copy of Chase Field, just kind of in a different area. These are very early renderings of probably a last, you know, resort scenario. If the Diamondbacks, for whatever reason, ran into funding problems on a potential Chase Field renovation, I certainly think you can easily renovate Chase Field. It's got a great you know, retractable roof with really nice windows. I would say probably change the batter's eye a little bit, maybe that whole configuration along with the obvious of rearranging the upper deck, taking out seats and probably putting in bars or something, you know, in the top area of that. I would probably take out about 20 or 30 rows and I would imagine Chase Field, I did call it an obsolete ballpark at this point, kind of similar to American Family Field, the MLB saying, listen, you know, the $2.1 billion Tempe project fails in Arizona. The Coyotes relocating, leaving that entire place. That whole situation is a mess right now with them playing at Mullet Arena, home of Arizona State. They don't want a repeat of it. They're probably going to ask for significant public funds. The good news if you're a Diamondbacks fan is... The renovation is going to cost a lot less than $2.1 billion if they do choose to go that route, which I would assume that's what it would be. And then the last case scenario would be threatening to move to Scottsdale or another area if they're not able to raise it, I would assume. or ima- I would imagine the renovation would cost somewhere right around half a billion dollars for Chase Field. Maybe even a little bit less than that considering Rogers Center got renovated for about $380 million and that was a whole reconfiguration and an entire reconstruction of the upper deck. So that is that update right there. Kind of almost a similar situation to Manfred coming out and saying, you know, Milwaukee needs to really get behind this publicly because they've had a tough time in doing that when it comes to American Family Field and they need to renovate that stadium for around $300 million. They threatened Milwaukee with relocation with Arizona. It seems like maybe a move to Scottsdale would be the threat to them. And then we do have Manfred coming out and kind of making a sarcastic comment about Oakland and the fan base saying, I mean, it was great. It is great to see what is this year almost an average MLB baseball crowd in the facility for one night. That's a great thing. So Manfred mocking Oakland fans saying they had their big one night and they still only drew 27,000, which is roughly an average crowd for the MLB this season. MLB attendance is up and I'm sure it's only going to continue to rise with it being June, July, August, kids are out of school, it's great weather, Uh, this is a really, really good year for the MLB in terms of attendance, and then he says, well, you know, the big, their, their biggest reverse boycott thing, it only got 27K, I had speculated that they should have done the reverse boycott during a Friday night game or a Saturday night game, I understand their reasoning of wanting to do it in a game that typically no one would go to. But still, if they would have done it on the weekend, they would have gotten like 37 or 38K easily. Uh, but this is just kind of a tone deaf comment from Manfred. You know, I'm sure he doesn't really care about them leaving. He's probably happy because it would raise the value of the franchise. So is John Fisher. And there are people that are speculating John Fisher might just sell the team once it moves to Vegas becomes because it becomes a more valuable asset in Las Vegas. 
Also, the MLB, I believe, waived the relocation fee, which was a billion dollars as well. So they really want to speed this process along. And they are leaving Oakland in not good terms at this point. It's hard to really harp on the attendance with the A's. I've said it time and time again. The stadium sucks. It's been the worst stadium in baseball for 20 years. It's just hard to gauge how many Oakland fans would come out if they got a legitimate, really good stadium and their team's ownership and you know GM. They all started trying again because right now it's very obvious they are not trying. So that is just the eight. And also Manfred said some other stuff. A lot of people were enraged by it on Twitter. You know, it's very clear the MLB at this point is extremely happy that they are moving to Vegas. The final hurdle is the owner's vote. Imagine the owners didn't vote for it. Uh, But yeah, I'm sure that'll go through pretty much, you know, completely 100%. The owners are for it because overall it's going to make the league more valuable with a team in Vegas. The writing is on the wall at this point. I mean, Vegas is trying to get, they've already moved on. Now they want an NBA team and they've got to pitch a $10 billion NBA arena complex. It's just remarkable right now what's going on in Vegas. But getting back to the Diamondback situation, what do I think is going to happen? They've got a really good young team. I've said for a while that is one of the stadiums that does need renovations. I see a similar situation. If you want to compare a renovation process, look at Rogers Center. It was a two-year renovation. They redid the entire outfield this past offseason. They're redoing the entire infield seating this offseason. That's what I think the Diamondbacks are going to pitch. And the two big stadium renovations we're looking at right now for the future, American Family Field and Chase Field. The MLB has made it known those two places. They've given warning shots. They've said, listen, Arizona, you had that bill not pass. Look at what happened. The Coyotes very likely leaving. You know, let's not have that happen again with the Diamondbacks. You need to upgrade your facility. And I do think they will. And again, it's going to be a lot less money. It's an apples to oranges situation funding a project that's going to cost $2.1 billion versus a renovation that very likely could be under half a billion. And then the thing with Milwaukee, that was an even greater threat where they said, listen, You've had issues funding in the past. You're the smallest market, one of the smallest markets in the MLB. You know, Miller Park, they've got some structural problems. They need to renovate the actual retractable roof, I believe, right around $100 million. Just in terms of it opening properly, it needs maintenance, apparently. Uh, So we will see what happens, but those are definitely the next two big MLB renovations. We do have the progressive field renovation coming in 2024, and they are finishing the Roger Center renovation as well. But these are two situations where the MLB has said, look... Your stadiums need improvement. We're going to be asking for public funding. We hope you're ready. We hope this doesn't get get ugly. That's what the MLB is saying. And I would say, listen, we understand. This all should be privately funded. It is ridiculous, but this is just the way it's going right now. I do think in the future, if we get more billionaires putting together groups willing to split and privately fund these projects, you're going to get a lot more. There's already a lot, but you're going to get a lot more public pushback from giving any type of taxpayer money to these projects. I'm going to be very interested to see how the Jacksonville situation plays out. That's a $1.4 billion renovation. They want the public to pay for half of it. And that, that, that to me, that'll be a real interesting thing there. And then the other thing I quickly wanted to talk about, this is just, I don't know why the MLB did this. I, I guess it is, that the attendance is up, but there was a study done. Apparently, if the MLB pushes back their start time by an hour, so you guys know the MLB right now is kind of starting games at weird times. Like, I kind of miss the old days when every game started at like 7 o'clock, You know, it was a standard start time, 7.05, 7.10, 8.05, 8.10. Now they're starting at 6.40. You know, they're just starting them too early, in my opinion. And then on Sundays, they're starting them too late. They used to always start at 1.05, but now they've got that stupid Sunday morning game, which has changed everything. Well, apparently, according to a study, because times of the games have been cut down by about 30 minutes with the pitch clock, The MLB should be pushing back the start times a full hour, apparently, from like 6.40 to 7.40. I don't think they're going to do that, but they need to nip these 6 o'clock starts in the butt 
There's no way a game in mid-June or mid-July on a weeknight should be starting at 6 o'clock. That's just dumb. A weeknight game should not start that early, especially with games finishing as early as they are. And then can we at least, like the whole Sunday thing is so dumb. I just, I can't even watch the, I mean, it's just like, no one wants to watch a game starting at 135. Let's just move the games back to when they were, start them at 105 and 110. It's like, oh, we got to have a 10 a.m. game so the games all get pushed back. It doesn't make any sense, but they've got that deal with Peacock on Sunday. That's why they've pushed all those games back. So we'll have to see if the MLB makes any tweaks. Apparently, it could raise the overall ratings of baseball by 3% because, uh, you know, people are more open to watching games at around 10 o'clock at night than like 6.30. There's just less to do. And apparently, according to a study, that might be something that is happening, which I would like. I I would support the MLB doing that. But either way, uh, that is the situation surrounding the Diamondbacks, possibly their little threat from Manfred. They need to get a stadium renovation. We know about the Arizona Coyotes and their struggles to the point where they're relocating now, very likely, currently playing at that you know, college facility. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.